Welcome to Rewilded Reselling. My name is Wyatt. Today, I'm about to go into my local Goodwill in the town that I live in. I'm kind of on my normal route. I drop my daughter off on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then I always stop at this one Goodwill here where I live. Today, I'm just trying to see if I can find something really good to flip on eBay or on Facebook Marketplace. So I don't have any particular plan today. I don't have a certain goal I'm trying to meet. Just gonna try to see if I can find something awesome to flip online. So come with me into the thrift store. Let's see if we can find something. This is going to be a short video. I just I just want to see if I can find something awesome. So here we go. Into love and you don't seem that oh, oh, oh. I'll just be here alone counting the stars. Hop into my spaceship, thrift stores are waiting. He wild enough to sell it, then tell Wyatt that I'll take it. Until love and you don't seem that Hopping into a little voiceover. The music in the thrift store today was really loud, so this is how it's going. Starting with the shoes up front, these are all the shoes that Goodwill will take and mark up if they feel like they're more valuable. Problem is that right there, $49.94 for a pair of used shoes. I don't care what they are, it's probably not worth it. So skipped on all of these shoes. Then I moved over to the jackets and sweaters. I love to pick up jackets and sweaters, especially if they're vintage or sports themed. Every now and then you might see like Harley Davidson, things like that is kind of what I have my eye out for, but I'm not really seeing anything in this, uh, in this one today. So did not end up picking up any of the jackets or sweaters. Then I went back to the regular shoes that are pretty much all priced at $6.50. So starting with this pair of Brooks, they were a really nice pair of shoes, no holes or rips or anything, just dirty. But I took them home and I ended up cleaning these and they cleaned up really well, as you can see right there. Then I went to look at these Asics. They're really bright, a nice colorway. I ended up picking these up, but the problem was once I got home, I realized that there was some separation between the sole and the rest of the shoe. So I will end up returning those. Then I looked at these Sanitas. These also were a good pickup until I got home and realized the sole was like cracked. So I'm gonna return those also. Then I saw these two golf clubs. They were exactly the same. So it's pretty much two identical golf clubs. They were Wilson sand wedges. Nothing special, they actually come from Walmart, but golf clubs are so cheap, I picked these up for like $1.89 each, and I should be able to flip them for like 15 to 20 bucks each maybe. Then I saw this Panasonic VHS player, VCR, and the comps were looking really good. So somewhere between 49 and 50 bucks. Now I actually sold this, um, I had a person reach out to me on Facebook, anyways, it's sold. So I was happy about that. Saw the Starbucks mug. I look out for mugs when I can. It's Great Smoky Mountains, also a really nice mug. They're just, again, so cheap. It'd be a nice like $15 to $20 sale. Now here's where it gets interesting. And I'll kind of keep talking about this as the video goes on, but just ran into all these Dragon Ball Z VHSs and they're really bright and colorful. So I was really excited. And again, I'll talk some more about that coming up. Then I saw these two kilowatt easy things. So don't know much about them, but they also already sold. One sold for $22 and one sold for $24, both on eBay. And they were only like $2.50 each. So really excited about those little sales there. Then I saw this Pendleton shirt, nice shirt there. So I picked it up. All right guys, so as you see, I, uh, I picked up all those Dragon Ball Z uh, VHSs. Um, you know, I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z as a kid, but I remember like I remember friends who did. And um, most VHSs obviously aren't really valuable anymore, but I was looking up sold comps on those and I was seeing some pretty big lots of those um, selling you know, on auctions on eBay for like 150 bucks. So I'm gonna get home and see kind of what, what it really is looking like. 
Um, but I only paid $17.50 for all of those. So a really cool find. I'm, like, I'm really excited because it's kind of something that I've never seen before and I really don't feel like I'll probably ever see that again. Um, so anyways, uh, drop a comment below to let me know what you think about the Dragon Ball Z haul. And, and if you have a guess on how much I will make, then let me know. If you have a, a suggestion on how much I should list it for, then let me know. Should I lot it up like in separate lots or should I just do one big lot? You know, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm really excited about this haul. So let me get home and I'll show you the rest of the things that I got. All right, so I was gonna go home, but let me just show you right here. So I got the uh, VCR, I gotta get home and test it, but it did power on in the store. If, uh, if I can get that thing, you know, good to go, it should sell for like around 45 to 50 bucks maybe plus shipping on eBay. Then of course I got all the Dragon Ball Z VHSs again. Uh, let me know what you think I should do. Should I should I separate them? Should I list it as one? Um, you know, when I looked up comps, it was looking looking pretty interesting. Uh, then I got the two golf clubs. They're, they're it's weird. They're exactly the same. It's two Wilson wedges. I didn't find exact comps, but man, they just look you know they look pretty nice. So I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 bucks for each of them uh, separately um, on those, and they only cost me like I don't know two bucks each. Then I got two mugs. Starbucks stuff always sells. Great Smoky Mountains, it's just a really cool uh, kind of tall mug. Uh, these two deals right here, they're called Kilowatt Easy. There's two of them, they're stuck together. Anyways, paid for whatever, five bucks for both of them. Each of them should sell for like around, I don't know, 18 to 25 bucks there. I got a Roethlisberger jersey. I got a Pendleton um, button up shirt, which I've never found like a, a vintage Pendleton before ever. Um, if I have, it was definitely not here. And then I got some Sunita clogs, some Asics women's running shoes, and then some Brooks women's running shoes. And that's it. I paid, let's see if I can find the receipt. I paid $69.14. So guys, I am pretty excited about that haul for, for my local Goodwill. That is a great haul. Like I couldn't have asked for anything better. Some of that stuff will be really fun to list. I'm excited about the Dragon Ball Z. VHS's again, so let me know what you think about those. Should I, again, should I separate them? Should I lot them all together? Let me know. It's my man right here too. It's my favorite Goodwill employee ever. Um, <laughs> it's my boy right there. I love that guy. So anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that, uh, you know, it was interesting to see what I can find. It, I was in there for about, I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes, probably a little bit longer, but you know, on these Wednesdays when I drop off Everly and I come to this Goodwill, I'm just not, I'm just not in a hurry I uh, she doesn't get done until 12 so I'm already going to have to run back home anyways so I try to just take my time but I'm glad I did because I don't typically even look at VHS's but when I walked by I saw all the all the colors because they had they had them all lined up and I was like holy smokes what is this when I looked them up I was like wow it's pretty awesome so that is gonna wrap up the video hope you enjoyed it if you have not subscribed to my channel and you want to see more videos like this one then subscribe and if you don't mind hit that thumbs up for me that would help me out that would be that would be awesome for you to do that so that's it see you guys all right so i'm in my little space working i want to finish this video off because i sold it already when i was filming and getting this video ready i meant to you know, have it honestly ready quicker and so I was going to take into account what you guys suggested as far as how to list the lot but I decided just to sell the whole thing all together I realized I probably could have made maybe a few more bucks uh, separating it out but after doing separate shipping for multiple sales and all that I don't I don't know maybe but also I only paid $17.50 for the whole deal so I thought I would just sell it so I listed it at $1.99 free shipping on eBay I think I had it on Facebook and Mercari also and I honestly got several messages people asking hey can I buy this one you know set separately or whatever um, and I kept turning that down and and on eBay I ended up getting like five or six watchers and last night so today is today is Tuesday February 23rd last night I thought you know what I'm just gonna send an offer to these five watchers so I sent out an offer for 169 
and somebody purchased the whole lot. So it's already sold. So I turned 1750 into 169 free shipping. It only cost me about actually about 13 bucks to ship going FedEx. So there it is, guys. I went to Goodwill that day. Obviously, this is a week ago now, but I went to Goodwill that day just looking for something cool. And I came out with this these items that I've never flipped before, didn't have any knowledge of, just looked up some sold comps, did my best, and I turned it into a huge profit. So I'm really, really fired up about it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for uh, helping out, even though I really didn't <laughs> Uh, take you know I didn't get to actually take any suggestions but thank you for watching and that is it for this video